Hello grade 9 science class. Welcome back to another lecture. As you can see, this is lesson 4. It's right in the middle of your screen. It's at the bottom of your screen. And the title is Conductors versus Insulators. There are essentially two, two types of things here that we're going to talk about. You've probably heard of them before. Maybe you don't know exactly what their definitions are. That's what we're here for today. We have a third key point, which is grounding or electrical discharge. Um, sometimes that's a safety mechanism, um, like the third prong in the outlets. Um, you can probably know old houses often don't have the third prong in their electrical outlets. Um, but the third prong is a grounding wire, so they're very, very important. So we're going to talk about uh, conductors, insulators, and grounding of materials. First of all, conductors. Conductors are the materials or substances that allow electricity to flow through them. You're going to see when I show you some examples, a theme of them, um, essentially it's metals. So they conduct electricity because they allow electrons to flow easily inside them from atom to atom. Um, conductors also generally allow the transmission of heat uh, or light energy through them. Um, but essentially conductors allow electricity or electrons to flow. Uh, these are often metals. So metals, humans, the earth, and animals are all conductors. This is the reason that humans can get an electric shock when you touch metal that has uh, been, that is a wire. Uh, moreover, the human body is a great conductor, so it provides a resistance-free path for the current to flow from wire to body and then often to the ground. Conductors have free electrons on its surface which allow uh, the current to pass through it easily. This is the reason why conductors conduct electricity. So if you have a bunch of charges over here and you have a place where they want to get to over here and you place a conductor between them, that will allow electrons to flow from one side to the other. If you place a insulator, which is the next thing we talk about between them, electrons won't be able to flow. So it's often a metal. We often place a wire from this area to this area to allow electricity to flow to it. So there are five electric con conductors given here. One, two, three, four of them are metals. Silver, gold, copper, and steel are all metals. These are electrical conductors as well as water. And you've probably heard, you know, if it's raining or lightning outside, get out of the pool. You don't want to get struck by lightning. That's because water conducts electricity. Insulators. Insulators are the materials or substances which resist or do not allow the current to flow through them. So it does not allow electrons to move. They are generally solids in nature. Um, all, uh, insulators uh, are very, very useful in a variety of uh, systems like electrical systems to prevent charges going from to places we don't want them to. That's why we wrap uh, wires in rubber because we want the charges to go only down the wire and nowhere else uh, as they do uh, so um, insulators often do not allow the flow of heat or light between them either uh, and this makes insulators very different from conductors it essentially resists all changes and all energy moving through it uh, some examples are given here as well as here you can notice the diversity of them we have rubber, glass, oil, diamond, wood. They're all very different compared to conductors, which are all the same. So wood, cloth, glass, mica, quartz are all some good examples of insulators. Uh, insulators uh, are protectors. They protect against heat, sound, and the passage of electricity. So again, that's why we wrap wires in them. Uh, insulators as a whole essentially means that there's a resistance to the movement of energy. Um, Insulators do not have any free electrons, and that is the reason they do not conduct electricity. So electrons are all uh, tied up. They don't have electrons that can move, so they do, do not conduct electricity very well. Again, here's some examples of it. We know rubber is a good insulator, glass is a good insulator, oil, diamond, and wood that is, does not have any water in it because water is a conductor. An object can also lose its charge. So objects that are positive or negative can become neutral by touching a conductor to it. 
Um, a conductor would have a bunch of extra electrons in it on it, which is why it's a conductor. Uh, so it will transfer any XX status, static charge to the object uh, or take any off of it if that's necessary as well. This is what's called grounding. Uh, grounding is connecting a conductor so that the electric charge flows away from it to the Earth's surface. Um, a more violent form of this is electric discharge. So it might be when you shock yourself when you touch a doorknob or lightning as it comes down from the clouds. These are electric discharges. And as electrons move, they are in a current. So they are current electricity. Um, so conductors allow electrons and electricity to move while insulators do not. That is the key points here. Um, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read the information given. It's about two pages. Uh, if you are have questions about it, need me to clarify things, please let me know. I can do that, no problem. Uh, but essentially it gives a lot of information about how insulators and conductors relate to one another and how they relate to different properties listed. Um, it says on the left here, but it's in a table uh, that is below. So one of the properties is, uh, is a magnetic field. So a conductor uh, will produce a magnetic field while an insulator will not. And then you can get that information uh, from the papers that you have been given. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know, but go ahead and fill out that table and you'll be able to see all the differences between conductors and insulators. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Uh, I believe there's a quiz after this one. Yes, quiz two. So after lesson four, we have a quiz. Let me know if you need anything else, but I will see you soon other than that. Thanks.